Hello everyone, the 13 Scale here, also known as Scale, and welcome back to more Shadows Over Loathing. We've finished Barbara's other chores, and now we just need to go into the basement and bring back up the bird seed. Which, I don't know how Barbara's gonna survive this place if getting bird seed's gonna be terrifying. This trapdoor must lead down to the basement, so let's go. Oh, there's weird temporal problems, and... No, those are real mice. This fuse box is broken beyond repair. You have no choice but to dwell in the darkness. Maybe I can fix it for them. Wow, Barbara wasn't kidding about there being an uncomfortably dark thing down here. Uh, I need to increase my dark armor, I guess? I have something for that, don't I? I have something for this, right? Meat drops, melee weapons. Spooky armor. Yeah. It's a shadow rift. How long is this basement? You're pretty sure you should have reached the back wall by now. Go deeper. Weird clock. Makes sense that she keeps this thing in the basement. Turn back. The scariest thing about this is the cur the kerning. You don't particularly want to know what this puddle consists of. Jeez, that's a lot of rats. They're whispering, get out. Can you hear that right now? It's not just me. I need to increase my spooky armor. Let's close up this rift thing. Oh. We have a, we have a bird. Oh. The bird speaks in an eerily articulate human voice. It is what? Starve you... It eat you if. I'm gonna drift away here. Because I gotta have something that'll. Okay, hold on. Yeah, let's leave the birdhouse. Um, so, what I need is something to increase my mysticality more. So, I should have something. I should have some stuff that'll increase my mysticality. Anything. Anything at all. That's one. I need more than one. What I'm wearing right now gives me one. I swear to God. Alright. Moxie, maximum health, range weapons. Oh God, do I not have anything? Well, that'll give me something. That's not gonna increase it. Um, I need mysticality by two. Moxie. That's mysticality by one. I need literally one more. This is only during fights, isn't it? Yeah. I don't have anything that's just going to increase. Dang it. Wait a minute, I thought I switched this. I thought I switched this. To that. I really thought I'd switch that. That's fine. Um... I really don't have anything that increases it by one more. Not even a hat. Dang it. I don't just have the... Yeah, it's plus one. God, I just need a little more. Man... Alright. Well, what's over here? Part of the nothingness is missing here. Okay. Starve it eat you if. It need rich 
the and it have okay wait you starve if you eat it uh the rich need it and the poor have it shadow then darker and infinity then it greater is answer the riddle oh my god I have to actually type it Star okay, you starve if you eat it. The rich need it and the poor have it. It's dark is the Where do the poor have it the rich don't? Um would be ambition because that's okay it's not creativity shadow and darker and infinite the greater is I don't know the golden dragon fruit incorrect Chucks. Um, ambition? Incorrect. I have, there's gotta be, so, like, I gotta be able to increase my stats somehow by just one. Oh, God. If I had, if this was gone. Oh, God. I knew I shouldn't have gone that for the stupid sword. Alright, well, I guess, um, in the meantime, we focus on... Oh, God, what do we focus on? Uh, we get back to spooky, I guess, and then anything that doesn't really matter, we handle that later. Um, where is, I think I just put back on the Gatorman pants, and then we go from there. So, let's see. What do I, what do I pick? Because I don't, uh, I don't have a whole lot of options here. I don't think I necessarily need that kind of spooky armor on there, but I don't have anything else that would give me spooky. I don't know, do I need to leave and come back? Maybe I'll find a better item. I could put it on the hat. But I could I think I can only put one thing on a hat. Yeah, let's add it to the glorious uh, tiara, making the band a little eerier. That's fine. Let's just scooch on down here. Maybe I'll find something else that I need. Um, yes, go deeper. That is a lot of rats. I don't care what they say. Oh, the wall is bleeding here. Oh my god, really? The ground is starting to shake in bits and dirt is crumbling around the ceiling. The noise... The rumbling noise almost sounds like someone growling, your soul is mine. It seems like bad news and the whole camera is shaking. Man. I gotta figure out another way to get my mysticality up by one, because I'm not gonna be able to figure that out. Okay. I could just eat something. It would solve that. Because if I put those back on, I keep the eldritch glorious tiara that I'm wearing now. I didn't want to have to make extra spooky, but I digress. Um, put back on the ciabatta pants. And I guess I eat something that will increase my mysticality by one? Um, increases your moxie. Let's see. Increases your muscle and mysticality and moxie by one. I mean, that is, that is pretty good. I don't 
know, do I have anything that would increase my spooky? Since I'm looking. Because I'm hoping what happens is that by me, like, clearing out everything. Uh, I don't have magical weapons. Increase your moxie by one. No. What about potions? Um. I don't know. Moxie. Mysticality and moxie. But I only have one of those. I really would not like to get rid of something I only have one of. Identified chemicals. Loose radiation. Cosmic wine. Oh, God. Moxie again. Muscle. Oh! Yes. I got the effect of the fairy dust, which increases my spooky. Alright, well, we can keep going then. So I do want to close that, but I gotta solve that in a matter of time. Go deeper. What's in here? These books must be the original Barbara Yagra's magic books. Unfortunately, it's as dark as the inside of a dog down here. No. And the ground is still shaking. Oh my god, even more? How high do I have to get this stupid stuff? Um... Where's that spooky armor? Get lost. So yeah, the bird seed is right there. The ground is shaking even more violently and furiously. The walls even howl, die, fool, as rocks falling from the ceiling threaten to bury you alive. Go even deeper. Hey, there's the bird seed. Finally, get the bird seed and get out. You got an item, bag of bird seed. Only one? Why would I not do her the favor of getting multiple? All right. Okay. So let's go back to trying to get. Um, okay, I still have the ciabatta pants. So that gets me to eight. I need food. I just want. Increases your mysticality by one. And I have four of these, so I guess we'll go ahead and eat that. Yeah. Food was wholly delicious. Great. Alright, let's go into it, the answers. Alright. You think for a moment, nothing is the answer. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I literally tried to, like, enter in nothing, but it auto-filled stuff. Oh god. Correct. Hooray. Can I still intuit answers? The bird speaks again. It is what? Eclipse every surrounds and beer your fills it. Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, it it has for use no has shadow through space and time of end and everything of beginning it is. I'm just gonna... The letter is E. Oh my god. I hate these already. Man. Alright, so... That is correct. Yay. Well, at least this is, I think, getting more full with every answer. The bird speaks. Its voice finally louder and further away. It is what? Near it is. All-consuming it is inevitable. You are filled with terror. The shadow. The bird nods and fades away. Hooray, I guess. What did I get? A throbbing ring of negative energy surrounds what appears to be an egg. I want to take the egg. Close it. You ready your pliers and set to plying until the ring of energy has been plied out of existence entirely. Alright, so can I just leave? Oh wait, I'm not- I'm- I'm as Barbara right now. Weird. So did that make it- Okay, so it is still haunted. Noted. Um... So then let's go ahead. Ha ha ha. You should plant this if you want to grow a field of birds. Ho ho. That is wild. Okay. And equip that. Alright, we should be good. I closed the terrifying thing or whatever, so we should be okay. Hey, Barbara. Um, here's your bird seed. Hello, how are those chores going? 
Here's your sack of bird seed. Um, you kind of undersold how creepy it was down there. Oh, sorry about that. Maybe I can learn a charm to keep the mice away. And the voices? And the bleeding walls? That doesn't sound familiar. Maybe... Oh, wait. That doesn't sound familiar. Maybe your flashlight was acting up. Uh, anyway, thanks. Here's that feather I promised you. Uh, thanks, I guess. Can I take the bird bath now? I don't think I need it, but... Hey, you said I could have the little bird bath? Sure, take it with my blessing. Except, not a literal blessing. I don't know how to use those yet. Uh, thanks. You really should have dumped out the water before you started carrying it around, but... Sure, I guess. I'm lightly more horrified than I was. I think that's everything that I needed, so let's just go back to the monster camp or whatever. Oh, yeah! The Chupacabra! I forgot about that. Despite the map... Uh, despite anything the map might have to say about it, you've managed to wander back to the spot where you set the trap for the Chupacabra. Peering through the bushes, you discover that your trap has indeed trapped... well, something. Looks like a giant toad with a tentacle face covered in boils that might also be its eyes. You have no idea what a chupacabra looks like. This seems about as likely as anything you were imagining. The presumed chupacabra just seems pretty annoyed about being caught in your trap. Approach it. You carefully sneak up on the chupacabra. Since it's both distracted by the trap and unable to turn around, you manage to take it completely unawares. It struggles futilely as you grab it in a headlock and slice off one of its nostrils. The creature roars in pain and anger, but by the time it manages to thrash its way out of the trap, you are already completely the heck out of there. Phew. Great. Wonderful. Hey, kids, I have all of your things, and I am beyond horrified. Uh, here, you take the moss man uh, mustache or whatever. Hey, I met the mouse man you were talking about. See, I told you he's real. Yeah, he's a pretty decent guy, actually. He gave me his mustache. Here. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. Kid happily sticks the mustache on his upper lip. How do I look? Mossy? This is the best day of my life. Hey, you should know the thing's a parasite. Um, the kid pulls out a sash and pins a badge on it and hands it to you. Thanks. Here's an official Monster Squad sash with your first Monster Squad Squad badge. Oh, it increases it by one mysticality. Neat. Thanks. I got 35 XP. Please tell me that this uh, whole thing that I'm about to get with this whole sash is going to be like one of the most overpowered accessories I could get in this game. Um, right. You're the one that was looking for the thing. Hi. Did you find the smell of wisp I sure did. Uh, please don't open the jar, though, while I'm in the room. That bad, huh? I wonder if it's gotten stronger since I met it. Well, anyway, thanks for your help. You hand over the nose trumpet she lent you and the jar of foulness that you've collected. The kid takes your sash, pins another badge to it, and hands it back to you. Yeah, this is about to be super overpowered. Plus one mysticality and 20% meat drops and 35 XP. Thanks. Um... Okay, you were interested in the fly man. All right. Hi, did you meet the fly man? Did you, um... Yeah, I got it. Here. Oh, thank you so much. I'm going to put this in a little silver locket and treasure it forever. What was he like? Was his experiment a success? I have got to get the hell out of here. Um, kid takes her sash, pins another badge to it, and hands it back to you. One moxie, one mysticality and 20% meat drops, plus 35 XP. Cool. Um, I don't remember what everyone else is looking for. Hey, it turned out you were right. The honey ape is a totally real thing. Oh my gosh, really? I knew it. Yeah, uh, here's your tracing uh, back in that fingernail you wanted. Huh, wow. Something wrong? I guess I'm just torn between excitement, vindication, and the fact that this is a much grislier object than I realized it was going to be. Oh, don't worry about it. The honey ape will be fine. It had nine more, and I'm still horrified that we did it. But it's cool. I guess that's true. Anyway, thanks for your help. Here's a Monster Squad badge. One muscle, one mystically, one moxie, and 20% meat drops. Good God. 
35 XP. That leaves two kids left. Alright, what did you want to look at? Hey, um, so I caught that chupacabra you were after. It looked pretty fierce, but the trap did the job. Wow, that's great. Now we have real proof for why there aren't any oranges in the swamp. Huh. Sure, anyway, um, here's its nostril. Neat, I'll wear it as a ring. Please don't. Okay, well, anyway, um, don't go near that part of the swamp for a while now. It's really mad. Uh, the kid takes your sash and pins another badge to it, hands it back to you. So five to maximum HP, one to moxie, one to mysticality, one to muscle, and 20% meat drops, plus 35 XP. And this is the last kid. Any luck getting a feather from Barbara Yagra? You mean one of her birds, right? Right, yeah, she doesn't have feathers herself. We established that. Okay, good, just checking. Yeah, here you go. Wow, thanks a lot. What was she like? She was actually really nice. Just don't go into her basement, though. Fully decked out monster sash. Hey. Kid takes back your sash, pins another badge to it, and hands it to you. One additional use of a combat item per round. 5% uh, five more air maximum HP, 20% meat drops, one muscle, one mysticality, and one moxie. Plus 35 XP. Thanks. Anything to say now that I've done all of them? You clearly seem like the leader. Enjoying the fingernail? Oh, it's not the fingernail itself. It's more about the good feeling of coming to know that you were right all along about everyone who was ever a fool that doubted you. I see. Enjoying it? Very much so. Okay. Um, well, I guess that was everything for these kids. Can I pet the cat now? The little sign on it says Boris only. This had better be Boris or the cat's gonna be in trouble. Try to pet him. He hisses at you so he must know you're an outsider. Hold on, can I put on the sash? Where's the sash? Yeah. Okay, I have it. There we go. Boris looks at your sash and nods approvingly. New cat unlocked. You can now pet Boris to receive a boon. I'm gonna pet him. You give Boris a decisive petting, and you get Boris's boon, who licked you, which gives me three spooky armor. Oh, I have three spooky armor by default. Let's go. Oh, God. But when I go to sleep, which is going to be soon, I'm going to have to come back and get Boris's boon, aren't I? It's probably like a once-a-day thing, isn't it? Whenever you get scared, remember that Boris is watching over you. Yes. I love it. Okay. God, so much of this is gonna go tomorrow, though, once I go to sleep. Well, I guess that means we only have one thing left to go do, and that's the treehouse before we're out of the swamp. So, that's all the time we got for this episode. Take care, everybody.